who actually has correct uh, EVs and natures and items. Last week it did not. So this week it's more accurate. Hopefully uh, I have the correct berry on my Politoed, but who knows? Yeah, I'm an official character in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I am actually Pokemon. Uh, you might have noticed that they reference me in the title. Uh, in Scarlet and Violet, I'm the character Pokemon. Let's make sure everything's set up correctly. Yep. Looks good. Looks gamer. Whew. Turn this down. Facing off versus D-Rex. They're down to 50. There we go. All right. So looking at the team. I guess I should say on that screen. Uh, Toxtricity. This is a pretty interesting one. It might be like Psychic Seed Phalanx. Oh, if this is who I think it is, it's totally Psychic Seed Phalanx. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Is this who I believe it to be? Is this who I believe it to be? It may be. It may be not. Let's just go with the funny. I think the funny is actually a pretty good way to start off this game. Uh, Tapu Bulu in the back doesn't seem bad either. Or maybe actually... Maybe it's in my best interest to lead off Bulu. They actually don't have very many answers to that. But I also need Stack to really do anything. That's like the big issue here. Let's go Kingdra Politoed. And, and I think I go um, Bulu in the back. And stack's kind of risky, but it's probably worth it. What? There we go. I'm gonna get destroyed by my own Mon. Minions Rise of Growl. The minions are back, and they're here for my head. Where's my water? There's my water. You have 12.3 channel points? Please do not spend them today. Yep, that is Psychic Seed. <laughs> that is gonna be Psychic Seed. That's why I let off this way. I was very scared. Very scared indeed. However. However. We have options. This isn't the end of the world. Oh, it's Psychic Seed on you. Okay. That's not that bad then. That actually isn't that bad. I don't know what it is. I, I, I feel like congested. I have like mucus in my throat. Um, but I can't quite pinpoint where. I think I'm just going to helping hand the Muddy Water to be honest and hope that it's not Focus Sash Phalanx. Even though Focus Sash Phalanx is objectively the best way to run it. May I ask which Pokemon MC has the best drip? Uh, it's a tie between Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, male character, and um, May from Gen 3. That's my tie. May actually has some pretty underrated drip. In the remake, not the original. The original, her outfit's a little weird, I think. It's like mostly the same, but it feels off in the old art style. And also dated art style. Um, a real dated art style would be the Gen 3 male trainer. Everyone always looks at him in, like, the new games. They go, ah, it kind of makes sense. And then you look at him in the old games, you go, ew, what is that? <laughs> what are you doing? All right, Icy Wind. Um, do I go Hard Bulu? I think I go Hard Bulu. Still here to see if you didn't bring coal. Like, look, I'm not going to bring coal until he's got, like, uh, Terastalize. Because Terastalized coal will actually be fairly decent if you can connect your rock slides. I proved that by running Choice Banded coal. <laughs> it still did a lot. It wasn't great. But uh, Terastalize at plus two is pretty decent. Best format. Back at it again. You know it. Helping hand. Am I going to get Moonblasted? I should take it, but it's not going to feel great unless it's like specs. Moonblast? I can eat that. 
that hurt? Okay. All right. Um, something to note. My Politoed outspeeds my own Bulu because I'm zero speed Bulu. Actually, I'm three speed Bulu, but when you have zero speed investment and you're brave, it, at level 50, it's the same as zero. Fun fact for anyone who's hunting for zero speed legends. It makes a difference. Okay. Um, I definitely just do this. Like, the Horn Leech is going to do a ton. I get health off of Indeedy in case they want to go for anything. Yeah. Angel, thanks so much for the follow. Kind of wish I bulked up now, but it's fine. Burn. Thank you. Uh, sometimes I have a talent for just calling those. <laughs> I have a talent for calling burns. Spanning four shouldn't do too much. My guy's still at minus one speed, so the uh, icy wind into horn leech is still a true combo. Scald into horn leech may be better. Ah, eh, no, icy wind horn leech is just as safe. Because if they helping hand, I want to make sure I live the hit. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, well. I might have messed up by misclicking. They should follow me, though. It shouldn't, make, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. But I did do a hard misclick there. Oh, let's go. Icy Wind? Okay. Slowing down that Toxtricity is actually pretty huge. Since as long as it's not Scarf, my Politoed should outspeed it at minus one. All right, connect, please. Okay. I have a Kingdra in the back. Honestly, I think what I do is I just go stack here. And, um... Yeah, I think I just, like, go stack, and I'm, like, fine. Hmm, maybe not. Let's go for the Scald and switch in the, uh, the King, not the Kingdra, the Stack Attacka. Because I want this damage, um, I want this damage, I really do, I really do. Withdrawing the Indeedee. Okay, Scald seems like it was a pretty decent play here. Let's see if they Sludge Bomb. That'd be so nice. Yep. That's that good damage. Rain stops. Okay, I'm in a pretty decent spot. Um, I've taken no damage on my Politoed. However, we did notice it does outspeed me still. So what I'm going to do here is actually Icy Wind and Rock Slide. And if I do that, considering the Pokemon that they have in the back is, um, Indeedee, I should win with my Bulu. As long as I KO this Toxtricity or outspeed it, you know? Alright, nice. I got the play right. Um, Scald, Muddy Water, none of that should KO me. They have to crit. Something that sucks about only recording in the evening after I go to work is my voice is more prone to cracking because of dehydration. All mind. Glad I got this damage off. The icy wind's gonna be really nice for the Bulu endgame. Oh, don't miss. Oh, come on. Okay, luckily they have no recovery, so after another Icy Winds, they get KO'd. But that is a little bit annoying. And I really can just go for the Gyro Ball here, can't I? They're going to Helping Hand. Glad I icy winded. 
I missed the Ndidi again. Oh my god. Kind of really need to KO you, dude. All right, miss your muddy water. Nope, you're gonna connect that. Do I live? Nope. Critical hit on Politoed. Everything's going. Yep, everything's going wrong. <laughs> Thanks for the event, Moxie. Hey, no problem. Live. Okay, good. I was like, I need you to not go down right now. Okay, here's my out. On this turn, I bulk up. Actually, no. Hmm. Kinda. I think I bulk up, yeah. An icy wind. I have to not miss is the issue. Because I, I just need to connect an Icy Wind on the Finny and then I'm like, fine, you know? That's fine, okay. Miss. You can do it, Politoed, you can miss. I give you permission. Nope, okay, not great. Not terribly poggers, but also not terribly not poggers. Get my bulk up off. Obviously, I don't take a sludge bomb too well. Um, but what it mostly comes down to here is connecting a second Icy Wind on this Finny to make sure I can outspeed it. I'm fairly certain I already outspeed it, but I'm not certain. Uh, I'm not entirely certain. So I need to go for another Icy Wind and connect. And I need them to KO my Politoed this turn. Because what'll happen then is I just bring in the, um, I bring in the Kingdra and go for my, um, what's it called? I bring in the Kingdra and I go for my, uh, freaking Draco Meteor on the Toxtricity. Still Icy Wind. This turn I protect. And if they're Scarf, if they lock Overdrive, I'm in a good spot. Because they may be Scarf. All right, stinky lock overdrive. Actually, if they overdrive here, I'm fairly certain they're Scarf. Or maybe not. Who knows? Maybe I'm stupid. Yep. Okay, cool. I feel like that's a good indicator that they may be Scarf. I live? Okay. I get my berry. Dude, I, honestly, I think I win off of this. Pretty sure I win off of this right here. Don't miss. Okay. That's fine. I needed you to... Actually, I kind of needed to hit both, didn't I? Kind of needed to hit both, the more I think about it. It depends. If the Politoed goes down here, I should be fine. Nope, Politoed does not go down. Oh, I really hope you're Scarf, dude. I really hope you're Scarf. Listen, Politoed, I gave you permission to miss last turn, not this turn. Now the issues come up. Please be Scarf. Please, it's not Throat Spray, and it wasn't Life Orb. I think we're fine. Icy wind still optimal. Pretty sure that's Scarf. Especially since they switched out after a single Sludge Bomb last time. I have to keep telling myself, these are positive affirmations. Yep, positive affirmations win. I'm going to KO that Finny and then I win. 
Because I should outspeed at minus two. Goodbye. Nice. Goodbye. Let's go, Kingdra. And they're probably just in range of Draco. Plus Horn Leech, or whatever combo makes the most sense. I think it's just Horn Leech. Yeah. Horn Leech will probably do it at plus one. Yep, that's the Scarf. Is that a Lolan Rillaboom? You know it is. Well, congratulations to my opponent. They made the thumbnail because they used the most dripped out team possible. They made whatever whatever video this ends up being, they made the thumbnail. D-Rex, thanks so much for the battle. Um, how many people are in the stream? 65? Let's do one more battle and then I'll do the announcement. I gotta get you guys really hyped up. I, I find it hard to keep interest in the Nuzlocke, personally. Mad Max, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. This is kind of cool. Uh, soft Trick Room team. Definitely not like soft physically. This looks like a very annoying bulky team. Uh, but soft more in the fact that they're not committing to the Trick Room. Uh, the Entei could be a bit problematic and so will the Gastrodon. I'm trying to think what my best game plan is here. Because I haven't faced a lot of Gastrodon, but I also haven't faced Trick Room Dragalge. This actually seems like a really rough, um, really rough matchup for me. I think my number one priority is going to be getting off Trick Room and leaning into Stack Attack more than anything, but having Bulu for, like, an extra option, you know? I'm going to say... Zapdos on lead. Bulu is Incineroar good here. kind of want to go Politoed, but I think Incineroar is probably the best. Let's do it. You got an ad after you gifted. <laughs> Wait, ads are supposed to be turned off for subs. Is that... Guys, are the subs getting ads? Because I'm going to turn that off if, if they if they are. You shouldn't be getting ads if you're subbed to the channel. I don't even think I... I don't even think that's possible to turn on on Twitch. Because that's like the purpose of subbing. They are not... Oh, okay. Wait, you gifted a sub, but you're not subbed? That's crazy. Chase, thank you so much for the for the sub. Gifted a sub, is not subbed. Insane. I mean, like, generous, but insane. <laughs> I think I do this. What a gentleman, yes. Fake out onto the stack? No? Okay, I got the wrong. Oh, it's iron defense. That's annoying. Um, how do I do this? I think we need to get rid of you first. Dang it. I don't want to get rid of this thing first. Gastrodon? Okay, that's fine. Get the taunt off. I should get a Flare Blitz as well, and this becomes a lot easier now. Alright, did a decent amount. Can't trick him after the taunt. Very good. Very good, okay. They also can't protect, so a double up is an option here. Oh, the double up feels so tempting. But I, alas, I am a coward. Alas, I am a coward. Did I miss the announcement? The announcement was, uh, was literally just, I'm streaming on Saturdays. It's called Sub Saturday. 
it everyone's still able to watch the stream but it's going to be subs only chat and we'll be doing stuff like i'll watch videos that you guys send to me oh nice burn um i'll be doing some vgc tangential content whether it be like uh talking about like stream or vgc tournaments or stuff it's going to be like a very interactive stream um and then the other announcement was my patreon now has a higher tier where you get access to an exclusive series twice a week uh, so that's eight videos a month where uh, you can watch me take laddering seriously for once. <laughs> where I actually hop on the ladder with like a real team. That's That was the announcement. And also the lower tier, it's $1 or $5. The $1 tier is, um, what was it called? Oh, does this KO? <sighs> Dang it. Let me do this. The $1 tier is um getting your name at the end of the lore and video essay videos and the five dollar tier is the extra series this should do it that was a really good taunt at the beginning oh okay well not the end of the world not the end of the world Tank that pretty well. Don't get frozen. Thank you. I eat that too. Nice. Okay, this is a really good spot. I can do something kind of nasty this next turn. I can do something kind of nasty. That's yeah, probably not worth it. Go Zapdos here. So we saw a Body Press, Iron Defense, and Trick Room. I don't know if they have Protect. I don't know if they have Protect. I still Horn Leech here. But I also Brave Bird. Because Brave Bird will KO from that range. They're at one health. Or two. Either one. All right. I hope that's not Entei. Okay, cool. It's Rillaboom. Nice. All right. I actually really like the position I'm in. Doing something kind of nasty is always worth it when you're when you consider the content. Yes, exactly. Like Crush Grip, Regigigas, nasty. Absolutely nasty disgusting even made me throw up <laughs> i got disconnected every game and i have so many points because they were all my opponents oh my god how do you manage how do you get so lucky that's just a natural talent that's a talent everyone this person's talented regalgy okay I know the play. I know the play. This is the play. I'm doing the play. Actually, that might have not been the play, but I hope it is. They should sludge bomb the Bulu. Yep, sludge bomb Bulu. Oh, they sludge bomb that. Do I live? Yes, I do. Goaded with the sauce. Um, Goaded with the sauce. Yes. Uh, what is this thing's base speed? It's slower than Bulu. It is actually slower than Bulu. If I get rid of this thing, I should win. Okay, they don't withdraw. Hopefully they don't have protect. This double up should do it. I hope they're AV. Yes, okay, I think that's AV. 
Rock Slide should just barely do it. Oh my god. I kind of wish I Gyro Ball would be safer. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Okay. KO. 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 Thank you. <laughs> you have to... It, listen, guys. Sometimes begging is a strat in Pokemon. You, you must simply beg. The game smiles upon those who beg. Hello, fellow Grassy Surge Pokemon. We are equally viable, and no one can tell me otherwise. Alright, here's here's my theory. Um, I use Tapu Bulu because he's the best Pokemon in the game. And if you disagree, you're wrong. If you use Rillaboom, it's because he has toes, weirdo. That's why you use Rillaboom. I don't use it for that reason. You use it for that reason. Stop being weird. Okay. So, I'm in a pretty good position because Tapu Bulu more or less hard walls Rillaboom. Its best move versus me is U-Turn, which doesn't do that much damage, especially since I'm a bulk upset and I have leftovers. So... Both of these turns, my play is going to be to Horn Leech this Gastrodon, because I can't risk anything. If they're drum beating, and then they can drum beating and protect, and then drum beating and outspeed me and ice beam, they played me like a fiddle. And I am the fool. Bro, I just like a monkey. <laughs> no, you like toes. That's why you use the monkey. Alright, cool. That should be a win. Because my move heals me, and your move doesn't. Get over it. I also have close combat. Let's bulk up right now just to speed it up. Yeah, even a crit doesn't do that much. Nice. <laughs> Rillaboom shaming in chat, SMH. I'm sorry, it's just true. Alright, um, optimal play here is going to be to protect. Unless there's Swords Dance Rillaboom, I'm fine. Knock off, okay, that's fine. I have Horn Leech, so it like doesn't matter. Because after this second... Um, bulk up it's basically the same as though they weren't resisting the horn leech why no sub crying protect is simply better protect close combat is simply better also i'm minimum speed it's kind of hard to sub that is a name Ooh, okay all right spot the gimmick we're playing a game called spot the gimmick um Comfey is usually just a weakness policy procker. I don't see anything whose weakness policy it can proc. There's two contrary Pokemon. And a fake out user. There's a lot going on here that I'm not comfortable with. Just gonna say that straight up. I'm gonna lead off like this because it's actually fairly threatening versus them. Hollytoad in the back. And um, of course, Tapu Bulu. I know what you guys are thinking. You know, why wouldn't you bring... The stack attacker versus the landorus it's so optimal weakness policy malamar <laughs> what is your problem that is how I will phrase this. <laughs> what are they going to do? Am I about to get... I, they're going to Trick Room, right? 
They're going to Trick Room. We can't deny that. I'm going to go into my Bulu and Taunt. Because they should Trick Room. They might Ally Switch, and that kind of sucks. But um, we just call it how it is. I should take a, uh, like a Draining Kiss so it doesn't matter that much. But I would assume that they want a Trick Room here. And Taunting them is probably good. I think they're probably running a Babiri Berry, if anything. Mental Herb isn't that... I mean, Mental Herb is one of the best items for Comfy. But I'm just going to hope they're not running it. And honestly, after a bulk up, my Bulu does go crazy. Alright, Protect and Trick Room, Stinky. Protect and Trick Room, Stinky. You know you want to. Oh yeah. Like a fiddle. And not a particularly tuned one. Don't be Mental Herb, otherwise this was a waste. <laughs> I've been played like a fiddle and not a particularly tuned one they're gonna ally switch and I'm gonna have to deal with that I don't want to do it okay uh, they're definitely gonna ally switch that is half the reason to run this Pokemon they didn't ally switch, and I am the fool. Should have gone for the double taunt play. True. Wait, that actually doesn't do that much. That actually doesn't do that. Dude, I can keep bulking up, and they're going to have issues. They're going to start to have some Bulu issues. I live. Let's quick guard here and go for the horn leech onto you. Actually, wait, I think triage goes before my quick guard. I might be stupid. I hope it's plus two and not plus three. I'm, I'm definitely blanking here. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, that's fine. That's, that's fine, actually. Are they setting up on me? Yes. Are they a hurricane away from losing? Certainly. Triage is plus three, yeah. That would have gone before. I, I blanked there. Fortunately, it was worth it. Can you believe it, guys? Just a horn leech away. They don't have very many switches to this. The comfy goes down. This thing has to protect here, and then we're like, fine. It's not worth making the call. Nope. Cool. They let me have this, which is really good. I may bulk up again, because in the 1v1, if no one crits each other, I win. That's Sneasel? Oh my god. How many turns are left to Trick Room? One turn left. I eat a hit from you. Not well. My play is going to be to protect, though. And Horn Leech. I need the double. And if I fail, I still get my um, my dude in. Get my protect. They don't fake out me, so one would assume that they're Sash? Maybe they're not, and I just get a KO. I mean, I should eat a triple axle from this range, so it's not the end of the world. And also, they're slower than me. Oh, I don't eat a triple axle from that range. It is the end of the world. Why are you fake tears? Oh, that's an issue. I also can't lower its accuracy. Um, but my play here remains largely the same.
My play remains largely the same. I muddy water here. Hope for... Do I muddy water or do I hurricane? I think I muddy water and I bulk up. And I go for the 1v1. Because they may protect. Okay, cool. I have to go for the 1v1. And I think that might be Scarf Sneasel. Protect? Protect, you silly goose? No? Don't miss. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, I'm going for the 1v1. Leaf Blade. Don't live that. If there's Scarf, I'm fine. Because I am Leftovers and they're not, I think. I actually don't know if we have any way of checking. <laughs> oh, they do have Fake Out. But they're probably Scarf, so I can probably ignore that now. Considering how they've been playing this, I may just ignore that. I want to say if you switch on that turn, you might... Do I ignore you? I don't think I ignore you. I wish I could ignore you. If it fakes out again this turn, I start ignoring it. Well, it doesn't matter. How many... Guys, someone look up what the max PP on Leaf Blade is. Their foul play? Okay, that's fine. That hurt. Someone look it up. Ow. It's like 15. I can go 15 turns without getting crit. It's easy. I can also totally go for Protect every other turn. Welcome to the Bulu Zone. Twenty-four? <laughs> I don't wanna... Oh god, they have a recovery move! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, it's gonna come down. Alright, here's how I play this. I, I'm gonna bulk up and live the next hit. What are they at? They're at plus three. They're at plus four. I'm at plus two. My play is to bulk up and live the next hit. And then protect. And then hope for my close combat crits. Oh, they superpower. Okay, that's fine. I, guys, I think I just go for the close combat and go for the crit now. Yeah, we're playing for who crits first. That superpower did too much for me to feel comfortable not going for it this turn. Just get a crit. How hard can it be? Guys, check it out. Check it out. One, two, three. Crit. It's that easy. It's that easy. Check it out. Right here. Bada bing. Bada boom. Okay, we lose. <laughs> We lived. We have a second chance. There is a second opportunity to crit here. We protect just in case they get like a super low roll. And we can attempt another crit. But we're just fishing now. Check it out. Close combat. Easy crit. Easiest crit of my life. Easiest crit ever. 
Okay, now they miss because I'm Bright Powder Bulu. I'm not lying right now. Okay, good game. Nice. We tried. <laughs>